How's it going, Blade Service? We're going to bring you specifications you can relate to so you can have an educated decision on your purchases. This is very different uh, because I have two phones. Uh, this one is on YouTube. And this one's on Instagram. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I'll try and keep up with some comments, but I can guarantee that I am not going to be able to do that. Uh, but we'll see who comes on to the live stream. And hopefully I have a not... I don't have, hopefully I don't have issues with the live stream because normally I have issues with the live stream and we'll kind of see how everything goes. Uh, basically, there's going to go from uh, basically the uh, 4.30 hour. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for joining in. Uh, so this is going to go from about the 4.30 hour all the way till 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock is when I'm going to click the button and actually go live on the campaign. Uh, so as I was saying before, uh, we're on two different cameras, so I'll try and keep up on some comments. Uh, but uh, this camera to this side is going to be on YouTube. That camera is on Instagram, so I'm currently streaming on both platforms. How's it going, Peter? Uh, thank you for joining in. Uh, how's it going? How's it going? Uh, so if you guys have any questions about the campaign, about the process, about all the other intricacies of this whole thing, uh, let me know because uh, there's quite a bit um, that is going on. How's it going? Uh, but uh, there's quite a bit that goes on to actually bring this to life. Um, not more than what I thought it would be, but they're just, I mean, down to, I guess, when you think about, like, pick up a, a box, and then it's the thing about, okay, well, what type of font do I want on the box? How big do I want the font? What side do I want the font on? And it kind of goes on and on and on down that line. Uh, so this is basically uh, the start of the thing. Uh, so... Um, this is kind of the start of the mountain. Uh, we'll hopefully get through it. Uh, it's got a lot of different reviews so far. Uh, so if you guys you know, want to check those out, it's on the website. Uh, how's it the other, Peter? Uh, but uh, if you guys have any questions about things, let me know. Uh, but otherwise, if you go to orionknives.com, uh, then that's where you can actually you know, look at the reviews that are up. Uh, currently, uh, we still have three um, that are out now uh, that... Uh, will be coming out later. So uh, Knife Beater, uh, he has his review coming out. Um, Mild Matter and EDC has his coming out. Uh, and then uh, we have, who else has it? Uh, I forgot who else has it. I'll have to go back and see who else there is. But for some reason, I'm having a gap in memory. Oh, uh, Gear Towards Gear has uh, one of them. And I'm missing someone because uh, I'm missing a knife somewhere. But I had four prototypes go out, and then those are the folks that are checking it out and actually uh, bring it to life. Uh, so uh, I guess, does anybody have any questions? Because uh, hello, everybody. I see uh, folks that are popping in, uh, which is great. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, uh, do let me know. And I'll try and remember who else has the other knife. Because I'm missing someone that has the other one. Hmm. Okay. Well, it'll come to me later. But all the reviews... Uh, when they go up, will be posted to the website. Uh, so if you actually have any other questions about things, the reason for some of these on the table is kind of um, kind of the where things kind of progressed uh, through the process. What about your review? <laughs> Maybe yeah, we can work in, uh, Kiefer. Uh, you got to send me, a, I guess, one of those spring knives that I can open boxes with. Uh, but uh, this is going to be how it's going to go uh, with everything else. And there is something, some other comment. Okay, you'll be back, Peter. Thank you. Uh, but so, button locks, I had found uh, through the journey of knives, I had found that that was actually something I really liked for fidget factor. Uh, so, I fidget with my knives more probably than I cut with them. So, yes, I'm not going to be out there uh, batting things. I'm not going to be breaking uh, like pallets upon pallets of boxes. Uh, but I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be enjoying it. I'm going to be handling the knife. I'm doing it. Um, the different uh, chamfers on it, how it feels in hand, all those things kind of come up on that. Uh, so that's where it's just kind of an interesting process to actually go from the development. Uh, so this started back in June 2019 is when this started all. Uh, so that's when I actually got the information uh, when I started to just, I just drew it on a box. Uh, so I still have the box. Um, sorry, I'm going to move the camera a little bit. So this is where it kind of started from. So there's this box here. I'll try and get it on both of them. So this is like the priority mailbox that I drew the knife on. Uh, so I drew it with the initial with the uh, internal stop pin. Um, try to get on both cameras. I drew it with the initial stop pin. So that's where it started from with that. And then I actually went and uh, did this one. Uh, so this is the one actually uh, before uh, one of the blade shows. Um, I went and did it this way because it had a prize. 
where you could go, okay, well, we'll go and render your knife. Uh, so I did this one here uh, with the pivot, with a little piece of plastic. Uh, so this is where I started with the design, and I kind of progressed it from there. Uh, so I went to uh, 2D render, uh, and then I went and got it 3D rendered, and then 3D printed. Uh, so that's where you see here uh, some of the three, 3D printed models um, on here. Uh, so that's kind of the interesting thing about that. Uh, so some of the reviews that have already been up, uh, we have uh, Big Boar EDC uh, that had his up, Metal Complex had his up, uh, we have Women Carry Knives, Zach Stuff, uh, Therapeutic Edge, uh, we have OCD for EDC, uh, we also had uh, Eugene, and then uh, Metal Complex again with his full review. So if you want to see all those things, go over to the website, click on the link, and then, or you can search Orion Knives or Orion Solaris, because that's kind of where it came about, uh, because um, initially I didn't have the name for the knife, I had a name for the brand. Yeah, long process, but in, in going through some of the, um, the information with uh, one of the live streams with uh, TJ Schwartz, uh, he's saying that most knives take about two years to go from the inception all the way to uh, basically in hand can buy it in store. And so that's where I think a lot of times we see like the, the release of a knife where they show it and they're like, well, okay, well, it only takes from that time to like a month or so later when they release it, where it doesn't, it takes a lot longer. So, uh, also, uh, this one was sent in. So, I didn't know that Solaris uh, was actually a movie. Uh, so, this is like back in uh, 1974 or something. Uh, so, this is a pretty cool one. Uh, so, this is one that uh, was sent in. Uh, so, that's what was cool from Nick uh, over at uh, uh, Niche Designs. So, he actually had this in a, like some type of pin pack that he picked up or his girlfriend picked up. And then so he was like, hey, do you want that? He was like, yeah, of course I want that. Uh, so this is one of the Solaris pins. Not the one I'm going with for the, um, the actual process, the Kickstarter. So the, what the Kickstarter, uh, what you're getting. So if anybody has anything. Uh, so the options that you're going to have uh, for the Kickstarter is going to be shipped domestically. Uh, so that's going to be including shipping. So that $80 that you're going to be actually putting in. Um, and then that's going to be either for a red uh, pivot collar and backspacer or a blue pivot collar and backspacer and then you're going to have either satin that polished satin that's going around now or you're going to have a stone wash so those are all the ones that you're going to have available to you uh, to pick up order i know it's a pledge uh, but that's basically your uh, so that's what it's going to be uh, kind of transitioned to uh, so we're looking at about a 45 day window we on 45 days, uh, that's where it kind of drops into next month. A lot of people get paid on the first part of the month. And I guess also we're going to get another stimulus package. So we'll get that payday as well. Uh, so that's something that's interesting. Uh, most people will get that stimulus package. Uh, so that's something that you can put in to the campaign if you'd like to. So those are the things that we have there. Any other questions uh, for the campaign, for things that are going? And then uh, for the actual Kickstarter, I'm actually going to be physically pressing a button uh, to actually go live. So that was a process. There was a lot of learning in this whole thing and reaching out to some of the folks that have gone through it, um, Arcane Designs, as well as Niche Designs, um, as well as um, Adrian of Dan Designs. So talking to some of those folks that have gone, kind of gone through this process, either through Kickstarter or through Indiegogo, uh, they actually went and kind of gave me a little bit of kind of pointers, things to look out for, uh, but uh, there's a lot to learn uh, for this thing. Uh, so. Uh, that's where a lot of it is kind of an interesting process to be able to get to this point. And so uh, that's th those are the options that you're going to get uh, for the knife. Uh, so this is, again, the 3D print. This is the first one that came out. Uh, there are some minor adjustments for this one. And then this is basically the, the final before the prototypes. And it didn't change much from this at all. Uh, yeah, now you can go to the website. Otherwise, when I go live, uh, then you know, actually, I think you can search Orion Solaris on the Kickstarter site, uh, which you can't do now. So the link is on the website now. So if you want to get notified uh, when it goes live, you can go to OrionKnives.com. There's a Kickstarter link. Click on that one. It'll take you over to the Kickstarter page, and you can uh, actually click on uh, to be notified when it goes live. So that's going to be something that's pretty uh, interesting and hopefully works well. Again, this is a lot of different learning. How's it going, John? Uh, so thank you for joining in. I know there's other people dropping in here as well. Uh, so hello to everyone.
but we're going to be having this go on. So if you have any questions, if you're like, well, I would get it, but uh, what about this? What about that? Let me know the question, and I'll try to answer it the best I can uh, as far as the information uh, for the campaign, all the way through shipping, uh, everything else. And we'll kind of go from there. So the button locks came uh, from uh, the TITAC 2. I'm trying to get on both cameras. So again, this one's on um, YouTube. This one's on Instagram. So I'm trying to work with both of them at the same time. So as you'll see, like sometimes I'll have it out of camera because it's in camera on the other one. So I'll try and work with both of you guys. So this is where it kind of came out uh, for the first one to actually have it be uh, just a really uh, fidget friendly knife. Uh, so this one has basically everything that the Solaris, ha uh, Solaris has as far as a slipper tab. It does have the thumb studs and then also you can use the regular uh, button to open and close. Oh, but thanks for stopping in anyway, John. Uh, but hopefully you stop back for the campaign at some point because it's a 45 day campaign uh, for it as well. So this is going to be how that one works. So that's where it kind of started out. Uh, but one thing about these, if you have a TITAC 2, if you have the CRKTs, uh, they are a little bit sloppy. Uh, so, so this has some play too. Um, that's one thing. I didn't want that in the open position. Uh, so that's one thing that I worked to go away from. So from those folks that have checked it out, uh, they're happy with it. They're, they're not noticing that, that up and down play, which sometimes you kind of give a pass to button locks. Uh, but this one does have play uh, up and down. Uh, so that's something I didn't want to go with. And then this one is also the plastic handle, so it's not going to be a G10, uh, which is of the Orion Solaris. So that's something that is good there as well. Uh, but uh, that's where it kind of started with things. Some of the blade shape uh, kind of came from uh, a Nemesis knife. So if you haven't known what Nemesis is, this is what a Nemesis knife is. So I found that this blade shape uh, really cut very well. Uh, so as you see on uh, the Solaris, it also has a flat belly and it has the tip that goes up. Uh, for this one, it doesn't line up with the pivot, but I wanted uh, the tip of uh, the Solaris to be lined up with the pivot. So that's where you'll see that kind of go through. So if you actually are doing any puncture, uh, so in the box and everything else, uh, you basically are lining up with that pivot when you're making that. What's the knife with the hole in the bottom? Oh, this one? So this is another one that was on Kickstarter. Uh, I think it was Kickstarter, uh, but this is the um, the Maker knife. So what's interesting about this one is the basically it is a knife that uses utility blades. Uh, but you think that okay, as I'm opening and closing it, it's like where's the lock on that? Well, there's a lock on it. And so when you're actually using it, it doesn't ha it does lock up, and then you can actually just close it back down. So this is kind of interesting one. You got to tune it quite a bit. So when you first get out of the box. Uh, then you're not going to be, it's not going to work very well. You just kind of fiddle with it, turn the screws, uh, get that lined up. Yeah, it is interesting. I like mechanisms. So if you guys don't know, I like mechanisms. I like figuring out things. I like how things work. Uh, so that's where uh, that is. I know. We'll get there. Uh, I do appreciate it as far as wanting to join the campaign and everything else. But uh, so even with the, the pocket clip, uh, this one came out uh, with the, uh, the bullet from Wii. Uh, this one has a different type of pocket clip where it does have a roller on it. So if you see on that one, there's a little roller. So that's where it kind of went with that little ball shape on the bottom. Uh, so that's where it is something that was kind of interesting to me to try and get it in and out of pocket because I found this to be working really well. Some other people that have experienced this clip, they felt like it kind of hit a curb, uh, especially if you have really thick pants. Uh, but this is where I actually found this to be kind of an interesting mechanism. So I kind of tried to incorporate that without having any moving parts to it. So if you look actually on the, the Solaris, uh, there is a ball, uh, which is actually part of the pocket clip. So it's not actually a roller, but some people that have actually experienced it thought it was a, it was a roller. Uh, so I guess that's a good thing where they actually thought it was something that was moving. So that's one thing that came out with that one. Uh, even with the Griffin, uh, this Griffin is another uh, button lock. And then even the Tangram Vector is this one here. And, so, and also Kaiser is coming out with another button lock as well. So that's kind of interesting that people are getting back into that game. Uh, so that's kind of a good thing about that. But again, if you guys have any questions, and I'm kind of just rambling, talking about things, um, and then we're kind of getting trying to get to the campaign. Uh, but the campaign, uh, so you're going to get, uh, with that $80, you're going to get 
the knife of your choosing uh, with uh, the color accent that you want and then the blade option that you want and then you're also going to get a sticker that is going to be uh, only for any changes possible anymore. There are still some changes, uh, but I've gone through and did some adjustments uh, with the actual knife. Uh, so uh, like the hardware, it's going to be all T8. So um, the original one the prototype was T8 for the pivot, uh, T6 for the body screws. Uh, those are going to be T8. Uh, so we're going to be going with that. Hopefully that helps out with some folks that normally take apart their knives, not after you need to take change bits and also not worrying about as much as far as stripping things, but also being a T8 don't muscle the heck out of it and don't break the screws because uh, that's going to be even worse to take out uh, but that's going to be some of the changes that are happening with that no uh, lanyard i'm not going to do uh, so that was a choice as far as when i was designing it um, i i'm not a lanyard guy and then i didn't want to design a lanyard in uh, so that's where i'm, I'm not going to have a lanyard on this one uh, there's probably folks that can 3, 3d print um, a backspace or anything else that can actually uh, throw the lanyard in there because that that basically that barrel spacer on the back, you could uh, basically you know, change the, that back spacer to actually be able to incorporate a lanyard into it if you would like. Uh, but at this current time, it's not going to have a uh, lanyard loop or anything for that. So thank you folks for joining in with things. But yeah, with the campaign, $80, you're going to get uh, free shipping domestically. You're going to get the knife of your choosing. Uh, you're also going to get a... Um, a backer sticker uh, which is going to be only for the campaign so no other time will you be able to get uh, the Orion Knives sticker that is the backer edition uh, so that's not going to be available at any other time for it you're not going to be able to pick that up uh, that's going to be just for the campaign uh, so that's going to be how that will function with that so again if you have any questions let me know how it goes let me know as far as any input currently we have about 240 people on the mailing list so after all this is done, I'm probably gonna be uh, going live at five o'clock, uh, probably staying on maybe another 10 minutes or so. And then I'm gonna send out uh, the email to folks saying it is live. So if you did not get that email, I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on with that, but that is where I'll be doing that email campaign. And that was also something that I had to learn as well. So it's just some things that I just didn't know before and apologize, I'm gonna go take a drink of coffee. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, let me know let me know what it is but thanks for seeing some folks on uh, we have kunwu finch knives uh, i think we had arcane on as well so those are really cool things a little bit of silence there uh, but those folks are doing some good work as well so check them out uh, for what they're doing and then we do have uh, the campaign again it's going to be starting up uh, for um, everything uh, but kickstarter um, is lined out, ready to go, already set up for everything there. And then so once we go live, uh, 45 days is what we have for the campaign. So after 45 days, uh, then if you haven't had um, Kickstarter before, so basically how that works is uh, you're going to have uh, the campaign, you're going to pledge the money for it, uh, for the, the ones that you want. And then at the end of the campaign is when you actually get charged. So if you're worried about, okay, well, I don't want to order it now because I'm not going to have the money till next month. Uh, well, that's where you're not going to get charged until it is fully funded and ends. So you're not going to have anything. I didn't want to go any other route. Some people are saying, why don't you do the pre-order uh, with it? Uh, so that's where I was like, well, I don't want to do a pre-order because I don't want to take in people's money to then have to refund it if it doesn't go into production. So that's why I went with Kickstarter because it's an all or nothing deal. So, so the amount that's set for is the amount that's needed. Uh, so that's where uh, once it goes through, it gets fully funded. I set the amount for everything. So it's going to be production, uh, shipping uh, of the boxes. So production of the box as well. Uh, so I'm making, it's a custom box for this knife. It's not something that's used in other knives. So that box is the Ryan Solaris. Uh, so that is going to be production of that box, shipping of that box, production of the knife. Shipping the knife to me, I also gave it a month to ship to me because it is kind of crazy as far as some of the things that go on with that. So I'm just going to have those two things, uh, and then it's going to have the initial funding because Kickstarter said that they could take up to, I think it was 20 days to get the funding. Uh, so once the campaign ends, it might be even 20 days until they actually give me the money to then give to production. Uh, so that's where I gave some of that window. So that's kind of, all that timeline is actually on the campaign too. So as you scroll down, you can see uh, where uh, things are going to be and kind of why I set 
uh, the the campaign the way I did because I want to kind of break the mold. I know a lot of people have the campaigns and they're like, well, we're going to ship it. Uh, we're going to get it to you before Christmas. I can guarantee it. I can't guarantee it you for Christmas. Uh, so that's where I'm being very uh, laid out as far as what I'm out of it. I want to deliver it on time, which is uh, a difficult thing. I know a lot of people want to deliver on time. And then that's where I set up information to be able to do that. So hopefully I'll be able to meet all the things and something else other than Corona happens that changes everything entirely. Uh, but that's where I'm looking to do that uh, for the campaign. Uh, so if you look on the Solaris, uh, you kind of see uh, this little groove here. Uh, so that's where, where uh, this groove is kind of a stylistic thing that went about it. So that's where it started with this. So when I modified uh, this knife for the CRKT Jettison, uh, this is where I added this in. So as far as this kind of hammered look, and then this line here uh, is actually uh, the blade. So that's going to be where it drops down here. So this line matches up uh, with this groove, and that's the same thing as far as the Solaris. So I saw Jack Farnboy come on, so uh, thank him very much for it too. Uh, Jack's been part of the campaign helping out. Uh, he has uh, the Gearhouse Media, so if you want to launch a campaign, if you want to have some pictures done, if you want to be able to uh, go along this route too, uh, reach out to me if you have questions, reach out. Uh, so if you want to start uh, those type of campaigns, if you want to have pictures done, media. So when you go to the campaign, uh, check out Jack Farmboy, uh, check out Gearhouse Media. Those video and also the pictures are all provided and taken uh, from him. Uh, so that's where I team up with him to actually do that. Uh, so he's one that I've been talking with for a while. Um, so that's where uh, we kind of were able to build that and hopefully kind of uh, it's kind of the we always have a saying with uh, between the two of us at least I know it's a probably common phrase but it's kind of the onward and upward type of thing uh, so that's where we're working together to get that to happen uh, for many things uh, so yeah yeah that's something that's really cool um, let's see yeah been waiting for it to launch uh, we have some other things still in the works uh, some cool things, hopefully, uh, and then that's going to be uh, what the campaign will be, and then also for the box. Yep, onward and upward, that's how it goes. Uh, so what we're going to also have, uh, so if you notice inside the box, uh, there is a little um, little cutout. I don't have a box, so the four prototypes I had all went out to people to have them check out. So I don't actually have a prototype in hand. Uh, that will be coming back from Sean from Gear Towards Gear. I brought him out of uh, retirement, uh, so he actually was willing to do that, uh, to check it out and actually post a video. So that will be coming up sometime as well uh, for him. Uh, but uh, there's a little slot in there. Uh, so that's going to be for after Kickstarter. Uh, there will be. I'm looking to do different colors for the pivot and backspacer. So if you happen to order a knife uh, and you want to have a different color as well, that's where that slot will be for. Uh, but for the campaign, I wasn't initially planning to put anything in there. I wanted to do a coin, uh, but the coin didn't really work too well. A blade length is going to be 3.17, and that's kind of more at uh, this area up here. So going from here to about here. So if you actually measure down here, it's going to be about that 3.25, which I was going for, uh, for that blade length. So that's what we're going to have for, um, for everything there. And I lost my train of thought, but thank you for the question. Uh, but uh, we're going to have um, those things. Oh, for the little slot. So the slot's going to be having uh, for, um, you know, I was going to do a coin, uh, but what I'm, I'm working towards now, I'm actually um, going to be having a pocket pen. Uh, so if you know, don't know what a pocket pen is, uh, it's a cool pen. It's, it folds down. I actually have a pocket pen in my pocket, which I carry with me every day. Uh, so that's going to be what we have here. So this is the one uh, from... Um, pop up leather. I carry this every day uh, from Big Red EC. I carry uh, this little Kershaw pub every day. Uh, but this is going to be a pocket pen. Uh, so I'm going to have a black one, is a plan. We're still working out the details on it. But I'm going to have the pen uh, with the name on it and hopefully the, um, the Orion symbol on the other side. And so that will go into the slot as a placeholder because otherwise I would get a lot of questions of, well, what's the slot for? What didn't you send me? What am I missing? The slot was for after sales because I have to order a few boxes. That's going to be more than what the campaign is. Uh, but right now, there's going to be a little slot for a uh, pocket pen. So it'll be something that you can use. So it'll have the knife. It'll have a pocket pen on top. And that's going to be how that'll work. And what that little slot will be used for, at least for the campaign period. 
What's up, Neve Snipes? So those are the things that we're having. We have about another five minutes, and then we're gonna go live on the campaign. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Like shooting for the stars thing, I would like to get funded within the first two weeks and work on some stretch goals, because that, uh, stretch goals now uh, would be probably like uh, JG10 for um, for the scales, uh, possibly carbon fiber uh, for the scales. And then that's where also um, it was kind of caught out on OCD for EDC. It won't be part of a, a um, won't be part of a stretch goal, but uh, with the, how the knife how it's made, it is a little bit modular. Uh, so I'm going to see cost wise how much it would be. So if you actually bought a, a current knife and you're like, well, I like to have, uh, and that's where my card I'm working on too. But they're worried about it. it's not going to be um, as hard of a material to work with the knife. So I'll work that out, trying to figure out if I can do that. But I'm going to try and do um, kind of a modular setup. So for folks that are like, well, I can't have bigger than a three inch blade, um, I can keep all the hardware and then chain out the blade, chain out the scales, and then you would have a under three inch knife. Same thing goes if you would like to have a four inch knife, then you buy the base model and then you can buy basically a kit, which would include a blade and two scales. You take everything apart use all the same hardware, put it back together, and then you would have a knife with basically a four-inch blade. That's going to be the kind of the idea for that. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I don't know how the feed's coming through on both sides. So, again, this side is going to be YouTube. This side is Instagram. Uh, so, I know I have people on both sides of things, and then we're going to see how everything goes. So, another four minutes, and then we're going to be get going on the campaign. Hopefully everything goes live. I haven't gone live on a campaign before, so I'm, I'm hoping to press the button, and that's what the campaign is. Press the button. It's kind of like a start, kind of a, uh, and it's also how the lock works. So it's intuitive how the lock works. It's pre pressing the button, opening it up, closing it back down. It's intuitive that way. Uh, so that's kind of the point for that. But hopefully the campaign just starts right off, and then we can get into things. Exciting, anxiety, all the above. Uh, a lot of things going on with things. Uh, but we hope, I hope that it goes well. I hope you guys enjoy it and when you get it in hand. Uh, for the re reviewers that have been able to see it, uh, they've had uh, good things to say about it. We have a little bit of um, adjustments that we made for like even the the flipper tab, decide the chamfer around it, because uh, it was something that I, I noticed a little bit more. I didn't see it on every single campaign. Thanks very much, Zach. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, but I didn't notice on every single one, uh, but uh, it's something that I noticed a little bit more when I was handling it, uh, where I wanted that a little bit more rounded. So basically around the flipper tab, it will have uh, chamfering around that, which the prototypes did not have uh, for it. And then again, we're going with T8 hardware. So it's gonna be T8 pivot, also T8 uh, for uh, the, the body screws. Uh, so we're gonna have all those T8, not T6. Uh, so that's gonna be the changes that happen with that. We have another three minutes to go. So any questions that you folks might have uh, within the campaign, uh, within things that are coming up, uh, anything else. I know you guys aren't seeing everything too, uh, but if you haven't had a bar Buck Marksman, that's a fantastic knife. It's kind of a game too. So it's like if you get tired of playing with other knives, then it's just like you kind of play with this one and see if you can actually get it to drop properly. Uh, this is fantastic. USA made for that as well. Price, length, uh, $80. Now, for pricing, uh, we're going to have uh, 3.17 for the blade length uh, that's coming from the tip to the actual uh, furthest point out. So it's almost 3.25 um, down to this point here. Uh, I forgot the length of the handle, but where's my gauge? Wow. Oop, that's in millimeters. So about 4.7, 4.68 uh, for the actual handle. Uh, that's going to be um, how that works for it. Uh, so those are going to be the basics of it. 80 bucks shipped domestically uh, to you folks. And that's going to be uh, what that will be. So we have another two minutes to go um, on the page now for Kickstarter. Uh, it kind of runs you through basics as far as what your campaign is. Uh, don't break any of the terms and conditions uh, type of thing. And then I'm going to be clicking on, yes, I read that and then launch. Uh, so that's gonna be the, the the goal of that. And then if it has a different website, I'll be connected that to the, to the Orion Knives website.
But check that out. Uh, check out the website if you if you're kind of on the fence and you're like, well, I want to see what other people think about it. Uh, the the knives that they receive are pretty much production. Uh, there's going to be just a slight changes, nothing major, no issues with action. Uh, it has multi row bearings. So if you haven't seen that as well, uh, so the knife is, is on multi row bearings. So it, it gives a little bit more uh, lateral stability uh, when you actually have the knife too, and it it falls shut. It's a very fidget friendly uh, it's really nice as far as how it operates uh, so we have another minute to go and i'm going to click on this to get it going to see if we get there i'm going off of the the time on my computer so that might not be totally accurate with everything but that's what i'm using action is sweet uh, right hand left hand carry yes uh, so button's not going to change over uh, but the pocket clip uh, can change over so I thought of lefties as well two of my kids are lefties uh, so I did think about that it is five o'clock now uh, so I'm gonna click on the button to go not go live I'll launch the campaign and we'll see if that works or if I have to scramble to do something uh, else so it's congratulations the campaign is live uh, so uh, we're gonna stay on for another 10 minutes uh, to see if there's any other questions or anything else and we'll kind of see uh, what happens uh, but yeah, multi row bearings, that's what it is. Uh, so you check it out on the site, or and you can see on some of the reviews, some people took it apart as well. So that's going to be what that is. But campaign is live, it says it's live. Uh, so we'll see how that looks, uh, see how that operates. I'm going to actually go to the website, see if I can search Orion Solaris and see if that comes up. Uh, but it is live on Kickstarter now, and we will how this works, see how. If we can get to production, I'm, I'm pretty pretty good about it. I feel good about it, but uh, that's really helped to you guys and uh, sharing it, getting folks to, to do that. Cool, just got the email. So I feel good about the campaign, but that's really up to you folks. If you have somebody that really loves knives uh, that you feel this is going to be good for, pick up my gift. Uh, $80 is going to be shipped domestically. And for international folks, I might look at that after the campaign. So I know there's international people as well. But if you already have somebody in the States that helps you out to get knives, I uh, will ship it over to them and then they'll ship it off. Uh, so that's something that I just wanted to get the base things done first. Uh, so not to have a lot of different things and follow through on. Uh, but it is live now uh, for the campaign. A uh, stonewash blade uh, d does still say polished. Oh, I made, I made a mistake. Let me see. So, somebody said that it says polished as well. So, we have polished satin, polished satin, stonewashed. And stone washed. Not so sure where that's saying that the um, the stone wash is also set, um, polished. So I forgot who made that comment. Oop. Something happened on Instagram. Only in the long description. Okay, so I'll have to adjust that a little bit. Um, I think I lost Instagram, uh, which is sad, but I think I lost Instagram because I think my battery died on the other phone. So that's, that's, that's not great. Uh, but, uh, so we're right now, we're still live on, uh, YouTube. Uh, so we'll be here for a little bit and then I'll have to look at the long description on the stone wash cause that's where I must've made a mistake. Satin. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so I have to adjust that as far as the information there. I see what you're saying. So I appreciate that. Thank you for reading that over. Uh, let's see if I can even change that. So, so far we got um, eight backers nine backers uh, we're, we're getting some people up there so but yeah so i apologize for that um and appreciate you letting me know as far as that information uh, but if it says on the top side uh that it's going to be um 
if, if it says on the top side that it's going to be a stone wash or a satin, uh, that's what it's going to be. Um, as far as the multiple ones, Zach, I'm not too sure uh, if you can select multiple pledges uh, for it, and that might be an issue uh, that I might need to add uh, for both finishes or something. Uh, but uh, this is, again, a, a learning experience. So if people are having issues with the campaign, uh, let me know as far as how that goes, and I'm going to try and address that the best I can. Uh, so we've had the first thing that was saying that in the description that I had for uh, the um, the satin or the stone wash blade in the actual description, uh, since I copied it over, I didn't update that in the bottom section. So I will have to figure out how to do that. Uh, so so far uh, we're going along, uh, but let me know as also if any other questions. Uh, right now we're listed. Yeah, satin or stone wash. Got to make that decision on it. Uh, but yeah, Zach, I'm not too sure if you can um, click on multiple ones to add. Uh, so hopefully it does. Uh, but I'm gonna go set, uh, after this is done. I'm gonna send out uh, the main main email to the subscriber base. Uh, so right now we're at 12 backers. Uh, so uh, that's excellent. Thank you very much to anybody that's on the campaign that's actually backing that. Uh, we're looking forward to being able to deliver the knives uh, to folks as well. And again, let me know if there's anything that I can assist on that side. I'm trying to buy more than... <laughs> yeah, yeah, appreciate it, Zach. Uh, yeah, so I'm not too sure if you can uh, choose like the satin and the stone wash because I know a lot of people will want to do both of those or even multiple. So I might need to add like a like a buy two type of thing. Uh, I'll have to see uh, how that works. Uh, stone wash and satin, I mean, it's really going to be a preference. Uh, satin is going to be a polish, so it's going to be a nice looking knife. Uh, but it is going to be a fingerprint magnet. Uh, some people uh, liked it that way. You know, satin or the stone a very usable one. Hides some of the scratches a little bit better. Because once you start using um, the satin one, uh, you will notice some scratches on it. You'll even see that on some of the prototypes that are going around. Uh, but uh, that's going to be kind of your preference as far as what you like uh, for the project as well. Uh, but that's going to be everything there. We had we had something about 80 people that, that were getting notifications. Oh, so there you go, stone wash. So yeah, uh, so I mean that's going to be where people have to decide on those things as well. So we're going to stay on for probably another uh, three minutes or so, and then I'm going to get back to the campaign. I send out the the main email to everybody uh, to um, for people that signed up for the main list on the website. So those there will be a separate email. So there's some people that assigned or signed up for the notification uh, through Kickstarter, and that's where that worked. And then uh, we're going to have. Um, some that are just on the mailing list that went through the website. So that's where I'm going to be sending them an email that's separate. So you have the same issue with the satin as far as it scratching or fingerprint magnet, Zach? Or no, Peter, sorry. I, I ordered a stone washer. It won't let me pledge for more than one. Huh. So I might need to add something. So with the campaign, I can... I can still add some things as well, so I might need to add uh, like the two, the two things, huh? All right. So yeah, I mean, with if nobody is signed up to that certain one, uh, then I can add another reward a level. Uh, that would be kind of that two or more. So I'm going to have to look at some of the other uh, sites to see um, how they handle that, uh, to see you know what that might look like to actually uh, work out uh, for more than one. Because I know some people are looking at picking up more than one, uh, so I'm going to have to make sure that I can actually accommodate that uh, for the campaign as well as um, your order fulfillment. Yeah, appreciate that. And, and that's one thing that about the live stream as far as getting that initial feedback uh, from folks as far as issues I had one uh, spell, <laughs> spelling or information foobarb on my side and then um, yeah I'll look at the multiple side uh, as well to see how that works uh, currently now uh, we're at 16 backers um, so we're, we're moving along uh, so we'll see how this goes 
it'll be interesting to see um, how things drop uh, with other reviews that come out. Uh, and then I'll try and also work out uh, that multiple issue because uh, that's something that wasn't known to me beforehand. So again, this is a big learning process. Thank you for being involved in the process. Thank you for actually uh, going along with this ride. Uh, the other email. So if you only set up for the, if you set up for the mailing list, uh, you will get a separate email. Uh, if you set up to be clicked on for a notification uh, through uh, Kickstarter, you should have already had that email. Uh, that I think Zach said he already got. Uh, that email. So there will be another one that comes out. Otherwise, just go to Kickstarter and search Orion Solaris and it will come up. Uh, but yeah, that's the one thing that they said that the second one um, isn't allowing it. So I might need to adjust that uh, to be able to do um, two or more type of thing uh, to see how that operates and how that will function. Uh, so uh, that might be something coming out. Uh, so after I get off of the live stream i'll get the email out to the mailing list folks and then i'll work on getting that adjusted so you might have that adjusted uh later today to be able to order more than one uh, for the project uh, so we will see how that works and i appreciate the information appreciate the feedback uh, for it uh, if there's anything else if there's nothing else then i'm going to be breaking off to do those things uh, and then we'll kind of see uh, how things progress uh, through the evening and hopefully get funded um, and then we'll move on to um, stretch goals appreciate everybody for being on uh, leave, let me know in the comments anything else uh, you can reach me on uh, instagram as well for blade banter uh, i also have those orion um, orion knives on instagram as well you can reach me there and then um, email whatever else you want to do but thank you very much uh, we're going to break off and then i'm going to try and fix some of the errors or the issues that some people have brought up. And we'll kind of go from there and we'll see how it goes. Thank you, we'll see. Uh, right now we're at 1500, uh, we're at 19 backers uh, and we are just getting going. So uh, we'll see how everything goes uh, with everything too. I'll be the, you'll be the 20th, okay, <laughs> nice. Uh, so we'll see how everything goes, uh, but thank you very much for being on and I will work to fix the errors and the spelling issue. Have a good night. Thank you very much.